This is 5-Minute Climate Weather Reports, where we bring you concise analysis of extreme weather events and their link to climate change. In this episode, we will unpack the recent extraordinary weather events that have been unfolding in the Indian state of Gujarat and beyond, leaving us wondering if this is becoming the new norm. Hi Kartiki. So I've heard Gujarat has been hit by very sudden and extreme rainfall this week. Can you tell what exactly happened there and how uncommon this event really is? Hi Manjari. So it's another week, another place where extremely heavy monsoon rains battered parts of South Gujarat. This triggered flash flooding across many cities like Surat, Viraval and Valsar. In fact, Viraval recorded 520 mm of rainfall breaking the all-time high rainfall record for 24 hours since 1960. Similar conditions were also seen in adjoining coastal Maharashtra, wherein heavy rains triggered a landslide in Raigarh district claiming 16 lives. And this comes after a series of heavy rainfall in Himachal and Uttarakhand last week, and of course the chaos in Delhi. So it's natural to wonder if the monsoon season we are experiencing is becoming increasingly unusual. Well, according to meteorologists, such heavy to very heavy rains are common along the west coast during monsoon. But such an increase in the rain intensity is quite unusual and concerning. Climate change led to rise in both land and sea temperatures, which have increased the moisture incursion over the land by many folds. With this, chances of extreme rain incidents like the one we recorded in Viraval rise tremendously. So it's making me question, are these extreme events not predictable? Uh, What are we lacking in terms of research and technology? Well, that has been a work in progress. But clearly, at present, such extreme weather events remain beyond the capability of present weather models to predict in real time. According to scientists, computers are not powerful enough to accurately predict the severity of these extremes. Forecasting continues to be a daunting challenge and that does not allow the region to prepare accordingly. Hence, climate scientists across the globe have been stressing for increased modeling capabilities, which means sharper predictions and more real-time warnings. Right. And we're towards the end of July now. So what does the monsoon look like so far? Uh, Given the extreme rainfall events during the last two weeks across the country, the countrywide monsoon rains are presently surplus by 3%. While we might reach the expected monsoon number, but when we dig deeper, we can spot the abnormalities. So what are these anomalies? Can you explain these abnormalities as you say a little? Yes. So spatial distribution of rainfall is quite uneven even after back-to-back spells of these heavy rainfall across the country. Regions that typically receive the bulk of monsoon rainfall have received less rainfall. East and Northeast India is deficit by 21%, while Southern Peninsula region is presently witnessing 17% less rainfall. States like Kerala, Karnataka, Bihar and Gangetic West Bengal have been recording less rains by a big margin of around 30%. Meanwhile, regions like Northwest India, which do not record very heavy rain spells, have recorded a series of torrential rains. So far in the season, Himachal Pradesh recorded 83% more rainfall. Rajasthan saw more rains by 94%, Delhi by 65%, and very surprisingly, Haryana is rain surplus by 142%. Now, this skewed distribution of monsoon rains corroborates the impact of climate change on monsoon in India. With rising temperatures, the situation will worsen further if the greenhouse emissions are not curtailed. Thank you for the updates, Kartiki. And that's all for today. Thanks to our listeners for tuning in. Stay safe and weather aware.